everyone this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings just here to pop down the card for the day for us so I'm going to be having a shuffle of the Faulkner Tarot deck let's see what we've got today okay So I've got a card that's jumped out of the deck, so we'll use that one once I've picked it up, um, and it is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is, um, as you know if you've watched my stuff before, I work with the Faulkner deck, and that is um, a deck that uses real photographs of real people, real places, real things, to kind of express what is in the traditional tarot decks just a different take on it really and the queen of cups is one of what we call the people cards so it's like the court cards um the king the queen the knight and the page so the queen of cups talks about a water sign lady okay so in a card for the day reading what i tend to do is just look at the general energy of that so it's very gentle it's very soft it's very caring it's very nurturing um it's a card with emotion to it, you know, the cups people, um, the water sign people have a lot of emotion and it's a kind of um, a card that is saying that it is okay for you to be able to express that emotion today. Um, so you might feel quite emotional, you might feel quite touched um, by different things, you know, you might just feel very um, nurturing, very caring. Um, it's a quite a, it's a quite a motherly um card i would say so you might feel like you want to be nurtured you might feel like you want to nurture people so it's a it's a kind of really gentle soft energy um you can see in the picture you've got the lady the queen of cups with her baby and that's the energy that we have for today so it's a really lovely gentle um water signy energy you might find that you're drawn to being near water today um you might find that you know you want to go for a swim or you want to look at the sea or whatever it is um that's that's the sort of energy that we've got today so it's, it's quite nice gentle it's not really a day for pushing anything too hard it's not really a day for kind of doing loads of stuff so kind of monday <laughs> with it being a monday you know most of us are kind of in the work mode aren't we right we're back to work on monday yeah 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 get it all done um this kind of card is sort of taking an opposition to that really it's taking a, an opposing view it's taking a view that says actually i'd really rather much rather be you know, at home with my kids or you know with with my pets nurturing um or looking after myself or just being calm and cool and just being gentle and, and having that really loving, caring energy, either towards yourself or towards others or both. Um, so, you know, that's a little bit against what Monday usually stands for. But if you have an opportunity to kind of take it gently, um, the cards are saying take it gently. I'm just going to pop down an oracle card to go with this one. And these are the energy oracle that I'm using. Oh, and this let's just put it up the right way um just as a quick aside because that did come out the wrong way up i don't actually work with reversed cards um i've done a whole thing about that there i will try and remember what video i talked about it in but basically um i believe when the tarot was first started they didn't read reverse cards and and i kind of feel like you don't really need to um because there's, you know, 78 cards, there's enough cards there to express all the different things, all the different emotions. And, and if you read the them intuitively and you see different things in them, I think that if there's something your guide wants you to know, you'll, you'll be drawn to that. Up to you. If you want to read reverse cards, absolutely fine. Um, go ahead. And, and they talk about the shadow and, and things like that, the shadow side of things. Um, I've got specific decks that I work with for that. I've got a couple of gothic decks that are based on shadow side, the shadow side of things. So um, I read the energy, but probably in a slightly different way. 
Um, so this is the anxiety card. So the Queen of Cups is very nurturing, very caring, very gentle. The anxiety card talk does exactly what it says in the 10. You might feel like you need to be nurtured. You might feel a bit anxious. You might feel like you are needing to kind of go in, go within and nurture yourself a little bit and almost just sort of have a duvet day, put your blanket over you and snuggle up. Um, the anxiety card is, you know, worrying about what might happen. You can see she's indoors, she's under her blanket, she's kind of all snuggled um but outside there's a storm raging it, it's almost saying though that that storm is outside and your anxiety might be unfounded and it's very easy to say um you know really don't worry about things till they actually happen or, or more i think what i would say is trust yourself to be able to deal with things if they do happen and then you feel less anxious um i you know, don't do a lot of self-disclosure on here but I suffer quite badly with anxiety um and it's a tough tough gig um you know and it comes and it goes it's been in my family for some time as well so some of my stuff is probably learnt behavior some of it's probably my own stuff um you know I I, I um I find that talking about it really helps and being out there and being open and being honest you know I'm quite happy to admit that I have that um, problem but when I'm out and about I really try hard to hide it because I don't kind of want to show I suppose you don't want to show your weakness if we're honest that's what we're talking about um, but anxiety is not that it really isn't that and it's it's about trying to understand what it is where it comes from you know some people's anxieties are very real they're, they're about things that are actually real for them so it's a way of finding a way of managing it I find that meditation helps me um my little water feature and things like that help me burning candles incense that sort of thing um you know i, I also have um some talking therapy i go to a counselor and um talk things through with them that really helps as well um if you are feeling anxious don't be ashamed of it it's nothing to be ashamed of it's just a feeling um and it's just a feeling that you have to find a way of dealing with in in some way um you know being open and being honest about it i think is really important and we are um quite often tr we tr quite often try to hide everything because we feel like we're going to be judged um get yourself to a place where you don't really care what other people think would be my guidance um, if you're feeling anxious and feeling stressed and stuff find some little ways of dealing with it like I say candles meditation all that kind of thing um, can really really help so I will leave that with you for today and um, we're we'll back again tomorrow to do another card for us um, nurture yourselves today be kind um, be gentle with yourself don't put too much pressure on yourself if you're feeling iffy um, and a little bit anxious and, and you kind of really you know not sure what to do with that there are loads and loads of really brilliant meditations and things on YouTube I really like the ones by the honest guys they're brilliant for whatever you've got going on they've got loads of different ones I'll put a link to them up on my YouTube um, in my YouTube I'll put it in the description so you can have a look at their stuff that that they're the people that I turn to quite often when I'm having a having an anxious day so I'll put the link for that there have a really good day and I will speak to you tomorrow bye for now